Now, President Trump denying former White House aide Omarosa's claim he used the N-word on the set of The Apprentice. The president tweeting today, Omarosa is wacky, deranged, and has zero credibility with the media. Counselor to the president, Kellyanne Conway, questions the former Apprentice star's motives. For somebody who had opportunity after opportunity by Mr. Trump, now President Trump, candidate Trump for 15 years, it does seem ungrateful to to go and record people in the situation room. I see a lot of Democrats out there and national security experts who aren't exactly uh, pro-Trump or pro-Kellyanne Conway out there saying, hold on. Well, Kevin Cork's live from the North Lawn from the White House today. Kevin? Bill Omarosa promised that she had more taped conversations of her time here at the White House, and she is, in fact, delivering on that promise. As you saw, she has been talking about, once again, the existence of some tape as she continues to promote her book uh, called Unhinged. She's suggesting that at the very highest levels of the White House that she and others discussed a still-yet-to-be-found alleged tape the president apparently using the N-word. No one seemed to have been able to verify the existence of that tape. Still, this morning she talked about why she recorded that high-level conversation. I'm the kind of person who covers her own back. In Trump world, everyone lies. Everyone says one thing one day, and they change their story the next day. I wanted to have this type of documentation so that in the event I found myself in this position where, as you said, they're questioning my credibility, saying they never discussed the N-word tape, they had never heard these accusations, the president had never heard these accusations, when in fact this tape proves that they discussed it at high levels of the Trump campaign. And I've learned some lessons. Number one, you have to look out for yourself. And two, things change. Relationships change. Well, as you can imagine, the president is responding. This time on Twitter, he said this, and this is raising eyebrows all across the country. When you give a crazed, crying, low life a break and give her a job at the White House, I guess it just didn't work out. Good work by General Kelly for quickly firing that dog. Meanwhile, White House officials are still pushing back at the tape conversations. Uh, Kellyanne Conway was actually on Fox News earlier this morning, and she said Omarosa never told her about any tape. And Omarosa, who I considered a colleague here and a friend for a very long time, a, a, a lot of us women put together a shower for her before she got married. Uh, I know her mother. I know her husband. I always, had a, I always thought I had a good relationship with them and with her. And so I want to say she never pulled me aside, never said to me, hey, listen, I, I heard the president say this and I don't know what to do with it. Now, some people, Bill, are suggesting that the use of that phrase, that dog, is somehow specific to uh, this particular person in question. The president has used that phrase previously to describe a wide variety of people. Uh, that's still unfortunate. Uh, White House officials are not talking about exactly why he continues to do that. But we suspect we'll learn a lot more about that and hear questions about that very topic today at the press briefing at 2 p.m. Oh, Bill? We'll be watching then. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin mm -hmm. Cork from the White House. Thank you, sir. Really.